Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you the first things I recommend doing after setting up your iPhone 16e. If you've just gotten your iPhone 16e, there are a few things after setup that you should do to enhance your experience. The first one is make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi. It is gonna be pretty important for the further steps and also just for your comfort and for updating your system. So it gives you more functionality if you just go to Wi-Fi and make sure you're connected. If you're not, make sure Wi-Fi is on and then select the network you want to connect to then enter its password and click on join. Now you've joined the network. I can go back and go to the next step, which is checking for software updates. This is also in settings, as you can see. Just go to the general software update and it'll be here. You can see my system is up to date, but if yours is not, then you can very easily just click on download and install. It'll start downloading, verifying and all of that. Then it will prompt you to restart your phone. And if you, if you do it, it'll take a bit longer than usual, but it'll apply all the updates and they are important to keep your phone secure, having the newest features and ensuring your phone runs smoothly. Now let's sign into the Apple account. This is also gonna be pretty important um, for many steps that we may need to do. Of course, you don't have to do it, but it's worth doing that. If you don't have the account, you can click here to create it, but I already have it. So I'm gonna select the option to sign in manually. You can also use another Apple device to log in with it. I'm gonna sign in manually, then enter my email or phone number. Then enter the password. Now, once the password was entered, you need to verify with the Apple account verification code. So I'm just gonna quickly get my other phone. So this only shows in case uh, you already are logged in on another device. Uh, then you will need to, on another device, click on Allow, then enter the code that's being displayed. If you're not logged in anywhere, then you most probably either won't get the question or even more probably you'll just get um, an SMS um, to, your, um, to your number. Now um, I'm gonna click on OK and it asks me to finish setting up my iPhone. This I'm gonna go here later because before that I'm gonna do a few more things but it's worth noting that, it, uh, that it's, it's here in settings and we'll set it up later. But before that let's go to the App Store and make sure all our apps are updated because we need to update them for uh, the same exact reason as updating our system. I'm gonna turn on the personalized ads, but uh, the choice is up to you. Now you can click on your profile icon in top right corner. Then go to apps, I believe. No, actually, I think that if we had any updates to do, they should be displayed here. So since I don't have any, I'm just gonna double check it on my other phone if, it's sh if it should be displayed here. Yes, as you can see, here will be the updates and here they are just mm, not displayed so I don't have any updates to do. But if you have, then it's worth doing that. Now let's get to setting our passcode and face ID. So in settings, go to face ID and passcode. Then if you don't have a passcode, click on turn on passcode. Then you can set a six digit one or click on passcode options and set four digit custom numeric code or custom alphanumeric code. I'm gonna leave it on the six digit and I'm gonna set it to something really simple. 
but I recommend setting it to something more difficult but also easy for you to remember because in case you forget your password you'll need to reset your phone but it's still worth having the passcode so no one else besides you has access to your device. Now I'm gonna re-enter that passcode in order to verify it and we're gonna get to setting up our Face ID. And the Face ID is really secure on iPhones. Most of the Android phones and um, different phones that have face recognition are not secure, but the iPhone is pretty much secure since it bases on the IR sensors, not on the camera to recognize face. So I really recommend setting it up. I'm gonna go to set up face ID, then click on get started. Now we'll need to position the face within the frame and then rotate it slightly. Mm, I mean, do a round movement so um, it recognizes our face from all angles. Now I'm set. If you want to use Face ID with a mask, you can click on that and you'll need to redo the face recognition once again but uh, don't worry you won't need to wear a mask during the setup or you can click on don't use face id with a mask which is more secure mm, it just depends on uh, on what what do you prefer uh, with a mask it'll more um, it'll focus more on the eye area so i'm gonna select don't use face id with a mask and click on done you can also set up an alternative appearance so for example with a different hairstyle that's really different than usual or with glasses or something like that um, so it'll just recognize it and i'm gonna show you how to unlock your phone in these two methods the first one is of course clicking on the button or just tapping on the screen sliding up I'm gonna click on Face ID because as you can see at first it tries to recognize with Face ID but as I, as I click on this text I can go to the passcode quicker or if I want to do it with Face ID I can just raise my phone and look at it and it'll unlock it. Now uh, the next thing is setting up the wallpaper so I'm just gonna take a picture of something you can also download it from the internet or leave the wallpaper that's already set maybe I'll take a better picture this one wasn't too good okay and now uh, the uh, the picture is taken of course if you've moved your pictures from your old phone you can also use that for that matter mm. so if you want to change the wallpaper go to settings wallpaper add a new wallpaper then you can choose some from the pre-installed ones there are lots of them some of them are really pretty but I'm gonna go to the photos and select this photo then you can see I can adjust it in different ways pinch it to crop I can also put filters on it I think this filter looks cool but I may also change the color yeah I'm not decided well enough about it what about this one this one looks really cool you can also change the clock style if you want but I really like this clock now but I can also change the color so I'm gonna select this tool and maybe select not, not this color because it doesn't have too much contrast this one neither so maybe let's set it to maybe this one no it has to it's, it's too dark okay I think this one is great for some fonts you can also change the 
weight but I'm gonna leave it on it on this and click on add you can also add widgets change the shortcuts enable or disable the live photo so change a different photo you can do whatever you want you can click on three dots show photo in library there's lots of things you can do and you can set it as a wallpaper pair which is writ um, suggested here or you can customize the home screen so the home screen can be either blurred or unblurred you can also instead put it on a color on a gradient or select a different photo from your library so I'm gonna find something that looks good what about this one I think it looks really good yes and I can pinch it in here yeah I think it's very pretty and I can click on done and done and you can see this is my current wallpaper this is what I have on a home screen and this is what I have on lock screen now we can get to setting up Apple Pay of course this is an optional step but in case you want to pay with your phone contactless in stores it is pretty simple to set it up you just need to go to the wallet app now go to plus and you can add debit or credit card now select your bank continue and now you can scan the physical card or enter its details manually I'm gonna go back but this is how you do it later on you can confirm with your bank via SMS phone call or uh, the, uh, the bank app if you already have it installed and then later on to pay with your phone in stores you can just double click on the side button I'm gonna show you that on my other phone where the card is added so as I click double I've double clicked on the side button I can now verify with my face ID and pay with this card by tapping it to the reader and now the last thing is um, almost the last one because we'll get we'll get to settings in a moment but here you can also install the apps that you find important so maybe the YouTube or Spotify or Netflix, WhatsApp, Messenger, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever you want, you can just go to App Store, go to search and search for the app that you want to download. So here I'm just gonna download maybe the YouTube so I can watch my own videos. And now you can see it's being downloaded. It's being installed right now, it'll appear here. And now let's go to the settings to the last step, which is clicking on the... Okay, actually it has disappeared because I've set everything up myself. But in case you didn't, there will be a notification. You can just click on it and finish it, decline or accept some things that you're asked about. And I think we're done. Also, you can go to the battery and uh, go to battery health and charging. And I really recommend having optimized battery charging on. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.